Ah, Preston. Come and sit down. Preston, I have told the committee that I did not authorize your action last night. I've also told them that you needlessly alerted Berenson to our investigations by recklessly blowing up his safe. Presumably you have some explanation for this decision, Preston. Well, we've got Berenson. What we need now is the name of his controller. If Berenson believes it was only a burglary, he won't be afraid to contact him. That still doesn't explain why you didn't ask for my authorization. You wouldn't have given it. And that'll be all, Preston. Berenson's away, I take it. He's at a house party in Yorkshire with his wife. Yes, but uh, tomorrow is Saturday, Sir Anthony. We don't expect him back until Monday. We'll pick him up then. But do you go along with that, Preston? He has a girlfriend. I'm sorry. What's that got to do with it? Quiet. I wouldn't be surprised if he found an excuse to leave the wife in Yorkshire, come back early and start the new year with a bang. <laughs> I see. What do you want, Preston? Round-the-clock surveillance, three teams of watchers, phone tap, mail intercept, everything immediately. Twenty-four men around the clock for an indefinite period. That would have been wrecking at least three of our current operations. Brian, I'm sure you'll agree this Berenson business is of overriding importance. Oh, yes, well, of course, Sir Anthony. All right, Preston, you've got it. Gentlemen, I suggest we reconvene after lunch. Preston, got a moment? Close the door. Just what the hell do you think you're playing at? First, you have the unmitigated gall to proceed without my permission. Then you deliberately try to embarrass the service in front of that shit Irvin. Of course, I'm well aware that you somehow consider yourself as outside the normal chain of command. But let me remind you that this is a service, not a free-for-all. And when you've finished showing off, you come back to work for me. And I, as Director General of the Security Service... Acting Director General. Bernard Hemmings isn't dead yet. Look, Preston, let's get this straight. If, or rather when, I am confirmed as head of this department, you are just going to disappear without trace. I will bear that in mind. Meantime, I want another report complete in every detail on my desk before you go home. Would that include this meeting, sir? Do it! Yes, sir.